What are you working on, Daniel? Putting diesel in the tractor. Daniel's going to go chop corn stalks, so he's filling up the tractor with diesel, and then he's going to head off and do that. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? We already got the animals taken care of. We got the eggs in the washer. Everything is going smoothly. We just talked to Daniel. Daniel is taking the tractor. He's going to go cut corn stalks. There is Joel. Good morning, Joel. Good morning. So, everything's going smoothly this morning. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to take these pumpkins off the porch and we're going to feed some of them to the cows. So what are we doing with these pumpkins, Dad? We're feeding them to the cows. Why? Well, I would like to explain it to you, but Matthew has done the research to see why we need to feed pumpkins to cows. Matthew, can you explain the benefits of pumpkins? Okay, so the seeds have a chemical on them when natural they're in their chemical. raw state. A natural, a natural chemical. chemical. A natural chemical. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it, but it acts as a dewormer for cows. And most of them. That is a beast. Also, pumpkins are 18. That is veggie dad strength. Here, hold this. <laughs> Boy, that was satisfying to watch. <laughs> Gavin, get a pumpkin. See who can roll one the farthest. All right, so we're about to have a competition here. We're going to see who can roll a pumpkin the farthest. So we got to select our pumpkin. I mean, i got to find a good one here. Ooh, I like this one right here. Next. There's Dad's roll. That's got a orange one going down. Yeah, there. he's got one going all the way down there. So who wants to go first, Gavin? Okay. Okay, you go first. Let's see, Gavin's roll. Here it goes. Ha! City roll. <laughs> it didn't even go 20 feet. Well, that's where Gavin's ended, right? There. Okay, Matthew. Here. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, look at it go. That's that's not bad, not bad. All right, you wanna hold this for me? Let's see what I can get. It's not on. I don't see. It's on. Okay. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, that's a good roll right there. Oh, he that wins. There, I won the pumpkin rolling competition. I empty two bins, you guys do the rest. <laughs> Got our first pumpkin lover here. Hey, everybody. <laughs> right over to it. <laughs> Don't eat that. No, no, no. No, no. Don't eat it. <laughs> I told you, especially where, where they were going to go. No, I wasn't trying to scare you. What are you doing? I'm making nut rolls. Nut roll? Nut rolls. That sounds good. Yeah, it's delicious. See, we've already got some over here underneath the uh, towels. Yeah. How many do you have to make today? I'm making 36. 36?
perfect. Good job. Love you. Here's the finished product of what Grammy was making. She's already got them all bagged. She's got them all labeled. They have a beautiful color on them, too. In previous videos, I've showed you, uh, showed you us setting up the store. I've shown you guys us working in here a little bit. But I'd like to take the time to talk about it a little bit, kind of mention some of the things we have here. Back in 2003, this, right where we're standing, this was actually all chicken barns. Uh, in 2003, our chicken barns burnt completely to the ground. All the chickens we had in here, we lost them. Uh, we had nowhere to put our animals. My brand new four-wheeler, too. My dad's brand new four-wheeler. And my brand new pressure washer. And his brand new pressure washer uh, was burnt. And there was tons of other equipment that was burnt in that barn. We used to have a farm market across the street. It was a lot smaller than this one. <clears throat> But we decided with the money that we got back from the insurance, we decided to put it into making a new store because we were getting a little too busy for across the street at the old, the old place where we had our store. And i just like to take the time. Now, sadly, it's winter. And when I named my channel, I called it the Veggie Boys because my whole idea is, hey, we're a vegetable farm. Let's show an aspect of farming that not many people see. So usually this is double-sided all the way down, and we have apples, all different kinds of vegetables. And then on this side, when it's summertime, this is all our vegetables, all things that we grow ourselves. That's my beautiful wife. She is so nice. But that's not the only thing we have. <clears throat> we also have down here, we do different kinds of bulk foods. We sell local brands of soda. This is when kids come in the store, they come running back here. You can see all the candy that we have. More candy. And then over here, we have our own fresh ground nut butters. I don't know, it sounds so weird when you say it that way. But we grind our own peanut butter here. My favorite is this one right here, the honey roasted peanut butter. <clears throat> that is delicious. It is really good. And then this is also where we have a lot of bulk foods. Today, the girls were working over here. <clears throat> excuse me. And we have all different types of spices. <clears throat> and they were cleaning off the shelves. They were putting them all in order. And how did that go? <clears throat> it went really well. Um, the shelves definitely needed a little bit of a clean. But we got all of them in alphabetical order. And now it's organized and nice and clean and ready for next year. Does that make you happy that they were in alphabetical order? Very, very happy. <laughs> A little bit of OCD, just a little bit. We also have different jarred stuff here. My grandmother, not only does she bake and do all different types of stuff, she makes red raspberry jelly, peach jam, apple cinnamon jelly, strawberry jam, grape jelly, pear pineapple, red raspberry, blackberry. She also makes apple butter, pickled beets. My brother makes his own barbecue sauce, and that is really good. It go, we put it on chicken, we put it on, we put it on everything. It literally tastes so good. And then just in here we also have different kinds of pastas, lentils, <clears throat> all different types of things. And this is what Lauren does. All this stuff in these bags. Comes in bulk, big boxes, and then I break it down into smaller amounts to sell in the store. Yep. So not only do we do vegetables, we also do bulk foods, candy, and then this is what I love. This is all local honey that people bring here and sell. And a lot of people like to take honey for their allergies, it, especially, like, let me see. This one is a cup, like, not too far away from us, and there's others here. Here it is, down here. This is not too far away from us, and the eating the honey helps with people's allergies, which is really good. Then we also get in different kinds of cheeses and meats. We sell milk, other drinks. Goat There's soap. just goat soap. <laughs> Friend of ours makes goat soap and brings it. And then also over here, I mean, we don't have a lot. We are just a little farm market. We have some gluten-free flours here. But basically that is where we sell everything for this store. I also got one more thing I'd like to show you. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. This is my house. There's a fly on there. Get off there.
This is my house back in the 1800s. I think that's like 1820, Dad, this picture? No, 18, 1860. 1860, but I think our house was built in the 1820s. And then this is some of my family. And this is one of the barns they had. Our family has been here since the 1800s, and I'm the sixth generation living in our house. And then in this picture, that's my dad. This is all my cousins and brothers. But there you go. We have a little tour of the store. And that's where I'm going to end the video today, guys. We didn't have that much to do, but I thought I'd give you a little tour of the store. So that's where we're going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed, like the video, and if you can subscribe, it really helps us out. So I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Buh bye bye Bye. Say bye bye Bye. <laughs> I work too hard. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to my viewers? Oh, um, scribes and, uh, no. What am I supposed to say? You know what to say. Um, something about subscribe. I don't know what to say. <laughs>